Hello, hello, hello. It's Kathy Bedell at MyStampingSpot.com. Coming to you with Thankful Thursday. How are you today? I have a little frog in my throat. So if I'm clearing my throat, I apologize. So, great day, busy day. Uh, celebration stats today. The uh, join promotion stats today, the new mini catalog stats today, so much. And I have so many awesome classes going on. So I put all those links at the top of this post. I hope you check them out. All right, let's chat here. <clears throat> so Thursdays, I always try to do either a thank you card, a tag that you could put on a gift, or make a little something that you could just give to someone as a thank you. So, what better way than with Valentine's items to tell someone that you really appreciate them? So, this is Country Bouquet. This is um, in the new January to April mini. By the way, I'm going to pause there for a second. We are only doing one celebration this year. It's not like the last few years where we had two celebrations. There is only one. It'll be January and February. Years ago, we had celebration. It was three months. This is only two months. So um, if you love celebration and you love getting free products and you're going through your little celebration full flyer, this one here, <clears throat> which, by the way, if you need some, KB, how are you? If you need a flyer or a catalog, let me know. Um, all these items are so fun this year and so beautiful, this DSP. So my local stamp girls, we used the Owls this month, the Thanks a Bunch Carrots this month. We are using, we use some of the Dainty DSP, I believe. I know this is also Karen Haltman. How are you? Oh, thanks, Karen. Um... This is what the make and takes are made out of. Betty, how are you? Hope you're feeling better, Betty. Anyway, if you need a catalog, let me know. This paper, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I worked with some other demonstrators, and we did kind of a paper share during the pre-order of product. And um, some of the other papers, like this uh, Dainty Flowers, that grabbed me right away, and I ordered a significant amount of it. This was one of the items that I put in for the paper share because this did nothing for me. And I'm going to see if I have some right here. Because I have to tell you, the picture does not do it justice. I do have a pack right here. And I don't mind telling you, it wasn't until I saw my paper share that I went, huh. This paper's a lot nicer than I gave it credit for. And sometimes you see it and it looks really busy, but then when you start working with it, oh my gosh, it's so much prettier. So that's the old olive green. This is Calypso Coral and Petal Pink. And uh, is this Rich Raspberry or Blackberry Bliss? I always get confused. Who can tell me? Oh, that's Mossy Meadow. I said old olive. It's Mossy Meadow and Blackberry Bliss. I mean, even those two for a masculine card are beautiful. You don't have to just use the florals. I know sometimes we all migrate to the florals, but it's nice to have something else. And guess what? You know what we discovered yesterday um, about this particular sheet of paper? We discovered that the dies, I have to find the name of it, there's a stamp set that correlates with this. And if I could remember it, Favored Flowers, it's called. Did you know that this is alphabetical? It took Joelle to point that out to me. Uh, B C D E F G. So the Fragrant Flowers Bundle, which is on page 21, we figured out yesterday that the die will cut this DSP out. There's a big image that the die cuts out. 
Uh, it's actually more than one flower. You know what? I'll bring it over on another day, maybe even tomorrow, to show you that it cuts out this big die right here. Cuts out multiple images here. So <clears throat> that's another perk to this DSP. I love when the dies cut the DSP out. Karen, how are you? That's that beautiful petal pink. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, oh, I take it back. This is what the die cuts out. These ones. So you have the coral and the petal pink and the beautiful blackberry bliss. And it cuts out all these bouquets for you. And it's got the... Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Just the little... Um, it's like circles and square. It's like just a circular pattern, I guess. So anyway... I'm off on a tangent here because I'm so excited about the products, and I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I had no intentions of doing anything of that. Karen, that DSP did nothing for me. Either. I'm telling you, Karen, until I saw it in person, wow. And I have to say, I heard that from a lot of my ladies yesterday. Karen and KB were here yesterday. Um, I think they will attest to it. There were several of us that went, wow, we had no idea this was so nice. So, anyway, let's go back to our Thankful Thursday. All right. I made it a long time ago, but I think it's been at least a year. So, I thought, hey, Linda, how are you? Still doesn't. Hi, Karen. Maybe as I work with it, maybe it'll grow on you. We'll find out. So, I have Hershey bars. Not because I'm going to snack, although that s'more does look pretty good, doesn't it? Most of us in the country won't be having a campfire, however, unless we're out of power. So I thought, <clears throat> for our little thankful gift today, let's make a cute little wrapper for our Hershey bar. And, um, well, I'm going to show you. This is Dyes. Uh, so much love for you. I'm going to show you how I use that. In fact, I'm going to show you now. I used it in my Valentine's class. I just rearranged the words. How cute is that? So this is the Sweet Sorbet and the Petal Pink. And this is the DSP, uh, which I think we're going to be working with today, I think. Um, anyway, just this is a much better set than I gave it credit for, again, until I went to work with it. But my thought is... Well, my first thought was, to, this is a two-step stamping, so I would maybe do this in petal pink or the sweet sorbet, the flowers, and then do the leaves in a green. Hey, Kathy. Oh, thank you. Um, Sherry, how are you? Thank you. Um, but now that I think about it, I think I may use the DSP, which I will feature in just a second, and use the punch that goes with it. But let's start the process. So this is the Craft 6x6 paper, which I don't use nearly enough. It's really great. It's um, it's a good heavyweight paper. It's heavier than our cardstock. And um, it's good for these kinds of projects. So the first thing, I'm knocking over my stamping list here. I'm a mess. I need to clean my desk. So the first thing I want to do is measure how big my candy bar is, which is about five and a half inches. So I am going to cut a half inch off my wrapper. Like that. <clears throat> Again, I apologize for clearing my throat. Okay, and then we are about uh, two and a quarter inches wide. So I'm going to do a score line, two and a quarter. Hello, hello, Missouri. Do you have a lot of snow? Do you have a lot of snow? So we could do this the easy way, which would be just to wrap around it because my score line was crooked. I am. This is how I cheat when I'm creating things. If I don't take the time to do all the math, 
sometimes I kind of create my own score lines and then I can go back and score where I want to score. So now I can give you the measurements of where I am scoring. So this is a score line at roughly one and a half inches. My tape is crooked. This I must have cut this crooked. I'm getting another piece. I apologize. Unless it wasn't a new piece. So we decided it was five and a half inches long. Maybe I didn't have it pushed all the way up when I cut the piece off. Or maybe I had used that, a piece of that. I'm not really sure. But anyway, we figured one and a quarter. We're going to score it. That's better. That's straight. That was weird, huh? And now this candy bar is, I couldn't live without a clear ruler in my workspace, is about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to go one quarter of an inch out. So I will score again at one and a half. Let's see how that looks. See if we're getting there. As you can tell, I didn't pre-plan this as usual. <laughs> You just let me okay and then I am going to score uh looks like about three and seven eighths inches let me see here yeah three and seven eighths inches I'll put this on the blog later so we have a six by six cut to five and a half by six. And then we are scoring at one and one quarter. I forget what that second score was. Three and seven eighths. Let me see. It was one and one quarter. And then one and a half. And like I said, I'll I'll note this on my blog. I'm gonna sit and do blogs today. And then three and seven eighths. And then because it's a quarter inch thick, it'll be four and one eighth. Okay. Let's see if it fits. Are you bored yet? <laughs> Are you bored with my math? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Gonna burnish this good. So, <clears throat> I just want to remind everybody about the 21st of January, my customer appreciation event for helping me succeed last year. It's free all day, 8 to 4. And I'm sorry I'm starting so early because I just realized that some of you girls on the West Coast, it'll be very early for you. That said, um, look at what he said. That said, and tear and tape may be better for this. I wasn't smart enough to bring it over, but we don't need it to be. Okay, now here's the magic of this candy bar. Um, so there's only another day or two to register if you want me to ship you the kits of all the projects. Uh, not snow. Yeah, it is cold, huh? Um, if you want me to ship you the kits, the kits are free. I'm just asking for three dollars in um, in it to help me with postage. For most of you, that won't even cover it, but that's okay because I'm grateful to you. So I want to give to you. Um, so, <clears throat> but if you don't request the kits, still join in on Thursday the nineteenth. I will post a list of how the day will go, 
and suggested items for each block that I am going to be live. So I will, you know, say, have a stamp set with a greeting or have a stamp set with flowers or have you cut or have adhesive, all that kind of stuff. So if you don't get the kits, um, you can fill in with something else. An ink pad that matches the DSP you choose, that kind of thing. Okay? All right. This is a bundle in the... I hope I can get it here so it's not blurry. Um, this is... There we go. See the stitching? This is called burlap ribbon. It has a hefty weight to it. Um, it's not like the older, thicker burlap we had a long time ago, uh, about a year ago, but it, it's definitely heavier weight. Uh, it's more like a twill almost. And then we have a beautiful real red. So we are going to take this ribbon, and I want to make sure I put the right stitching out. And we're going to wrap up this candy bar like this. Pull it a little bit smaller. I'll trim that in too. Okay. And then <clears throat> holding it, and I'm actually going to pull that tab out so it sticks out a little. You're going to insert it like this. I'm going to pull the top tab out. Let me push it down just a little bit. There we go. Are you seeing how this is going to... You know, Shay, I don't know what it is. It's actually not a cold. It's kind of more in my throat. It's a weird thing. I woke up with it this morning, but I, I have to admit, for all you ladies of a certain age, you know you get to a certain age and you're sweating in bed at night. <laughs> Need I say more? Um... Yeah, I'm at that point in my life, and I did sleep with the window wide open last night. So I am suspecting that that may be my issue. <laughs> uh, I would say it stinks to get old, but you know what? I think it's a privilege to grow old, right? Because not everybody gets to. So did you see what I did? I'm, I'm talking and I'm working and I'm not really explaining. I wrapped the ribbon around the candy bar and then I inserted it in. Now I have these two tabs and I'm just cutting a piece of real red ribbon. And I am just going to tie a knot kind of up here at the top. Like this. Put down. I think I'll double knot it because it doesn't seem to want to stay tight. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm going to scooch it down. Now look, your recipient can pull it out. There's the surprise. Okay, so let's decorate the front. <clears throat> Have you seen this DSP of Work Close? This is the Valentine's Day DSP, and it is country floral. Now, I have to be honest, I have three packs, and Joelle has uh, one design from all three packs, and I can't remember what it looks like, so I am missing one design when I show this to you. So this is... Very similar to the floral hat in this image. And then the back side, of course, is just a pretty dainty little design. This, I think, is my least favorite, but I think if I pair it with the right colors, it's going to be beautiful. And that has the pale pink on the back. Even that, look, see see how adding something else, picture this on the top half of a card. Oh, I forgot to turn my notifications off, sorry. Um, picture the floral on the top half and, and this paper on the bottom half. Look how beautiful that is. It already changes the look of that. This may be my favorite paper in the whole pack. I just love everything about it. And it has the beautiful Bobby Blue on the back. 
And we have this heart, which can also kind of be almost like a little tulip, with just basic stripe on the back, which is very pretty. And did I mention that the punch punches this? I'm going to show you in just a minute. And this is another favorite of mine. You know why I like this? Because if you want to make your husband a card or a little boy a card, sometimes it's nice not to be pink. So it's hearts, but it's not pink. And then we have the just traditional red and white little hearts. So that said, this suite also comes with this cute little punch. <laughs> Karen, you're funny. Sorry, I forgot to turn it off. And this lines up. Now, if you notice, this is the Mossy Meadow. This is more of a mint macaron. I am shooting for the mint macaron because what I have in store, I want to use the mint macaron for. So I'm going to punch this out. And we get the petal pink heart and the two leaves. How cute is that? All right. <clears throat> over if I can find it maybe I didn't bring it over yes I did this is the other pack of paper in the suite it's beautiful so one side is all the blues and greens the mint macarons and the bombay blues and the other is all the sorbet and the petal pink so it's a very beautiful paper and there are 48 sheets in this pack so you can see there's a lot of sheets in one design. Everybody loves the gingham, right? I am offering in my Valentine's class, Valentine class, half, half of um, a half pack of this. So you'll get 24 sheets, which in this case, let's count it and see. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you, you would get four of each pattern. This paper is called uh, Country Gingham. You get four pieces of each in the Valentine paper. Oh, I really don't need to go through all eight sheets, though, do I? <laughs> and like I said, one side is all the blue and green, and the other is all the sweet sorbet and the pink. But for this project, I wanted to pull out my gingham, my green gingham, my mint macaron gingham. And you're probably asking yourself, why aren't you using that piece that you pulled out? You know why? Because I was practicing making a box and I had scored it and I scored it wrong. So that's going to be scrap for something else. So I want a fresh piece for what I'm doing. Okay. So we determined that this was roughly two and a half inches wide. Now, you know what would be great? What would be great was if I had die cut a shape out of this, but I didn't. So let's talk about punches. Maybe a punch would be pretty, although I think I want something bigger. In my head, I was thinking I would kind of cover most of this, but maybe a shape would be prettier. I don't know if that's quite big enough, though, for what I'm thinking. This is how I kind of tell sometimes. Oh, yeah, that'll work. So this is my decorative circle punch out of the annual catalog. And I am going to... I think this needs something else, though. <clears throat> A little something else. Let's see. I really wish I had die cut like a nice long label or something. You know what? Maybe bling will be the trick. Maybe bling. <clears throat> Need adhesive. I have something by silicone mat. <clears throat> so that I don't get my adhesive all over my desktop. So I'm just going to adhere a 
this to my little so this does have this has less scallops I guess you call it than the top and bottom or well, you could do it this way either way maybe I'll do it that way like that now I like to think of this kind of like a tulip and put these up like a tulip although you could also put them I also there's a pointy end and a and a more curved out rounded end you also could put them this way maybe we'll do this way should have done it before I adhered my heart <clears throat> like that okay now I am going to add this to my little package and I am just going to cut a piece of white cardstock to stamp my my image not my image my words to stamp my words you also probably could pre-stamp this cardstock as well. I wasn't smart enough to do that, but you could do that. All right, I need a piece of white cardstock. I didn't bring one over. Can't believe I didn't bring one over. And I'm going to use the sweet sorbet ink. So. <clears throat> I'm going to trim this down to four inches long, which is going to be way too long, I believe. But, and I'm going to do, uh, well, maybe I'll see what the stamps look like here. So what I'm looking for is to maybe have something come across this. Um, I really like this one, Happy Valentine's Day. It's a script, and I used it when creating my class. So I know that a three-quarter inch piece will take that nicely. So it's three quarter inches by four inches. And I'm going to use that Happy Valentine's Day. I like script writing. It's like Morse code. The young kids can't read it. <laughs> I had pulled over a sweet sorbet, mint macaroon, the petal pink, and the bomby blue because I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do. And we're going to just keep it to these two colors. All right. Hopefully you can see that. Looking around the camera, so we're going to hope this is straight. With no halos. Not too shabby. Okay. And then, what I am most famous for, I have to be careful because... I got ink on my fingers and I don't want to transfer it, so I'm just wiping my fingers down a little bit. So my favorite move, which, you know, probably is Stampin' Up's least favorite move because I'm not advertising their dyes and whatnot, but it does make it simple. And we'll put that <clears throat> right across here, like that maybe. I have a couple dimensionals for that. And then we'll do some bling. So my Valentine's class comes with a half pack of the 6x6. Six six, and it comes with a half pack of the 12x12 12 12 DSP. I'll cut it 6x12. It comes with the two full spools of the Real Red and Burlap Ribbon. And it comes with a half pack of these gems. Now, this is a half pack, minus some, because I was using them. Hey, Kim, nice to see you. Um, <clears throat> so two of these come in a full pack. But I'm going to split it up and do half packs. Let's see, gold or pink? I think I'll do pink. Oh, you know what? Let's add this little heart. Let's add this little goober in there. Maybe like that. 
just fill a little something something there we go and the sequins filled up very nicely let's say give it to your gift giver and they have a cute little just a little something just a nice way to say thank you happy birthday what have you all right let's talk about the valentine's class for just a minute this is a fun fold class Oh, I have a glue dot on my ribbon. And I just untied my ribbon. Can you pretend it's tied? I'm not going to take the time to retie it right this second, but that's one card. And this is the other card which I showed you. I just love these dies. Here I use the burlap ribbon. So <clears throat> I used the Tombow liquid glue to adhere this ribbon. I don't think this is still wet. I think it actually stained it. So either use glue dots or use your seal. Don't use a liquid glue on this Tombow ribbon because it will mark your card. Okay? So you'll make you'll get the kits to make the four cards. Everything is die cut, punched. You get the ribbons, you get the bling. This not including the packs of paper and, and the the uh half pack of bling and all that. But you'll also get, these are my notes for how I made it. This uh, will be holding, what will this one be holding? This will be holding the uh, little Hershey hearts, milk chocolate hearts. They're like Hershey kisses, but they're little heart shapes. It's just a little cute triangular box. And I didn't adhere it yet because my hearts aren't in yet. But as you can see, we're just going to fill the inside with a few hearts. So you'll get the package of the hearts and everything to make this little box. <clears throat> you will get two pieces of Ghirardelli. Now, it's not this Ghirardelli. The Ghirardelli that I have coming actually has, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Kim, that sounds crazy. What are you making that for? Maybe a shower or something? Um, the Ghirardelli wrapper is white with little pink hearts all over it so i thought this was really cute so um you'll get everything to make these and you'll get the two pieces of chocolate with it and then this one my friend betty i think she's on here she shared this with me and i think this is adorable you will get the strawberries and cream lint chocolate in this box this is great it stays closed and you kind of just pinch it to open it and uh so you will get the kits to make all of this, and it's only $30. And that's a lot of product and a lot of great creative ideas for you for that money. So, okay, I hope you give this a try. Take a picture if you do. Let me know how it comes out. I'd love to see it. I'm trying to retie this. I don't know why, but I have it in my head. i got to retie it. Um, so don't forget about the 21st. Like I said, on the 19th, I'll post the agenda. I am super excited for that as I am putting it all together. I'm telling you, we're going to have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun, fun stuff. So um, I will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow's Fun Fold Friday. Why don't we play at 1 o'clock again? That time seems to be working. I seem to be able to kind of make it at that time. <laughs> and uh, other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks, you guys, for being here. Bye.